CDC TV presents the Eagle Book Series. Knees Lifted High by Georgia Perez. The day began as a clear, beautiful summer day. The sun was peeking over the mountains as rain that dances woke up. He jumped out of bed. Today, Mr. Eagle is going to tell me what my people can do to stay healthy. After breakfast, as Rain That Dances ran down the road to meet his friend Thundercloud, he thought to himself, I hope that Thundercloud can go with me. He is my best friend and he lives just down the road. Hey Thunder, what are you doing today? Watching some TV. Why? Rain That Dances told his friend about the great bird he had met and the important things the eagle had told him. I'm going back to talk to him right now. Will you come with me? Sure, sounds like fun. I'll get my cap. The boys started walking to the old tree stump where Rain That Dances said the great bird would be waiting for them. The more they talked, the faster they walked. I wonder what the eagle would tell us today. When Rain That Dances and Thundercloud finally reached the old tree stump, the great bird was waiting for them. Good morning, Mr. Eagle. This is my best friend, Thundercloud. I wanted him to come with me so we can both hear what you have to say. Good morning to you as well. I am glad you have come early because I have a lot to tell you. Rain That Dances and Thundercloud quickly sat down beside the great bird and listened carefully as the eagle spoke. Yesterday, I told you how your people have always been a healthy people. When they were children, they played outside every day. They were strong and fit. As they grew up, they continued to be healthy. They kept their bodies moving by working hard and doing things that they enjoyed. The eagle's voice became sad as he continued. Now, I do not see the children playing outside and keeping strong and fit as often as I used to. I see some children who cannot run or jump and play because their bodies are not used to moving every day. This makes me very sad. Children should be moving their bodies because this is a healthy thing to do. Why is this happening to us? Look down the hill and see your village. What can you see? Thundercloud and Rain That Dances looked toward their village. They saw people riding in their cars and trucks. They did not see many children outside playing. The village was very quiet. I don't really see anything, Mr. Eagle. Everyone must be inside their homes. Yes, and that is what makes me so sad. The children are inside, spending too much time watching TV or just sitting around. Do you know why it is important for you to play and keep your bodies moving? Sure, so we won't be bored. That is a silly question you have asked, Mr. Eagle. The Eagle shook his head. With great wisdom and understanding, he answered Thundercloud. Actually, it is not a silly question at all. Yesterday, I told Rain That Dances that many of your people are getting very sick from a disease called diabetes. Even some young people have diabetes now. What is diabetes? Diabetes is when your body does not use the food you eat the right way. So there is too much sugar or glucose in the blood. It can make people sick if it is not in balance. Just as your tummy is in balance when you eat the right amount of food, not too much, not too little, but just right, your body needs to have just the right balance of sugar in your blood. But someone who has diabetes can learn to take care of it and stay healthy. And you can do things to keep from getting this disease. One very good way is to do something every day to get your body moving. Oh, so diabetes is not a good thing? And we don't have to get it? That's right. So how can you get your body moving? Like this. Rain that dances began jumping up and down. <laughs> you look pretty silly. The eagle looked at Thundercloud. As a matter of fact, rain that dances doesn't look silly at all. 
Green that dances is moving his arms and legs in a fun way. Moving around is a good thing for everyone, young and old. It is not good to be sitting all the time. Can you tell me what else I can do to get my body moving? I want to stay strong and healthy. Me too. You can do many fun things, like riding your bike. What about playing baseball or tag? Those are both very good ways to have fun. The eagle looked at Thundercloud. What else can you and your friends do? Play video games. That keeps my thumbs moving. It's okay to play with your video games once in a while, but not all the time. Can you think of other games to play that would move your whole body? The boys thought and thought. They could not come up with other things they could do. Here's a game to play. Why don't you join along? Are you ready to move your body too? Let's take a deep breath in and then let it out. Let's look up at the sky, look down at the ground, look side to side and see what we can see. Let's touch our nose first with one hand, then the other. Let's touch our toes and then stand up straight. Let's tap our feet on the ground, left foot first and then right foot next. Let's clap our hands and march around with our knees lifted high as they leave the ground. Let's flap our arms and pretend we can fly. Let's all be eagles flying high in the sky. Let's jump like a kangaroo and see how high we can go. Let's jump on one foot and then hop on the other and see if we can go a little bit further. East or west or up and down, we'll start again and go round and round. We jump and jump, we're having fun. This is one way to stay healthy, one way to stay strong. <laughs> the eagle flapped his wings and laughed as he watched the boys jump like kangaroos. This is fun. Now I know what you mean about moving my body. I am going to tell my family and friends what you have told us, Mr. Eagle. I want them to start moving their bodies to be strong. Maybe they can play this game with me. Me too. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us, Mr. Eagle. Yeah, thanks. Will you be here tomorrow? Of course I will be here. And I will bring a friend who wants to tell you what else you can do to stay healthy and strong. Please come back and join me and my friends in Plate Full of Colors.